So we're gonna do adult, we're gonna do Tisha B'Av for kids, and this is a story about the temple in Jerusalem. The temple in Jerusalem. It was the most beautiful, magnificent building you would ever see. So here is what that what that te- what the temple what the temple looked like. That's pretty. Oh, see that? It's so nice. Wow. I used to go to the temple. Let me try to actually get out of the way so you can see how nice. It was so beautiful. Here's another beautiful picture of the temple. Oh, you can't really see the full the full beauty of it here. But it was such a beautiful building. The Jewish people loved their temple. This was the house of Hashem. Hashem had a house in Jerusalem. And the Jewish people were so happy. Here's another one. Here's another picture. They used to walk up these, they used to walk all the way up here. Go and go into the temple. Go the other direction. <laughs> Just to go in that door, and they they prayed to a sham. They had so much fun in this building. But guess what? They did all kinds of fun things connected to this building too. I'll give you an example. Around uh, Shavuot time, they used to come to the temple, and they used to celebrate. They used to bring all their animals. Anybody know what? Well, actually, they didn't bring. I don't know if that's a dog. They didn't bring the dog, but they brought their cow. Celebrate. Guess what? If you see in their hands, look, they have musical instruments. They used to play music. They used to celebrate. They used to be so happy when they went to the temple. They used to celebrate and go to the temple. They had all kinds of instruments. What? That wasn't all that happened there. They also, at a certain point of the year, they juggled. They juggled. I have a ball somewhere here. They used to juggle and play. So, again, the temple in Jerusalem was the most amazing, fascinating place. The only problem was the Jews didn't know how to share the temple. They didn't know how to share it. I don't know if you ever had something beautiful, some sort of fun toy you have, you want to play with all the time. Every Jew wanted the temple for themselves. They didn't know how to share. And guess what? One day, the kids got in a fight. The people got in a fight, and they were fighting with each other. And they they said, the temple's mine. No, the temple's mine. Everybody wanted their own way of serving Hashem. And they couldn't get along with each other. Hashem said, this is my house. You're not going to fight in my house. You're not going to fight in my house. So what did Hashem do? Hashem sent them to their rooms. Yeah. Hashem sent them home. He says, go home. Don't fight in my temple. Don't fight with each other. You have to celebrate. Play music. Dance. Juggle. You should just have fun in the temple. Get along with each other. If you can't do that, I'm going to send you home. Everybody went home, and they couldn't be in the temple anymore. And they were sad. <laughs> they were crying. They were so sad. They said, Hashem, we want to come back to your temple. We want to come back. And guess what? The Jews kept praying and praying and praying. They asked Hashem, please bring us back to the temple. And Hashem promised that we're going to have all of those fun times once again. in The most beautiful place in the world, in the temple in Jerusalem. And that's what Tisha B'Av is about. Tisha B'Av is we, we, we pray to Hashem that we can come have fun once more in the temple, be close to Hashem, and love each other the way that we're supposed to.